everyone and welcome, welcome back to the Duchess of Success podcast. Happy Sunday, I hope you all got the Black Friday deals you wanted. So, you all seem to really like my Princess Charlene video and so I guess that's the green light for more videos on other royals and it was actually in the comment section of that video that somebody suggested that I looked into Princess Marta Louise of Norway and oh la la, my girl is with a brother, an American shaman called Jurek Verret. A shaman, if you don't know, is a type of spiritual healer. So I'm going to give a bit of a background on the princess and then on Jurek and then discuss what the reaction in Norway and in the media has been. So Princess Marta Louise of Norway is the only daughter of King Harald V and Queen Sonja. She is fourth in the line of succession to the Norwegian throne and she was formerly married to the late writer and visual artist Ari Ben from 2002 to 2017. The couple had three daughters together, all of whom are untitled. They divorced in 2017, but Ari Ben sadly died by suicide on Christmas Day of 2019. She is very active as a private businesswoman and an alternative therapist and does very few official public engagements with the other royals. From 2007 to 2018, she led her own alternative private therapy centre, commonly known in Norway as the Angel School, which provided training in clairvoyance and communication with angels and communication with the dead. She herself claims to be a clairvoyant. In May of 2019, she publicly announced her relationship with Durek and as part of her withdrawal into private professional life, she lost the style Royal Highness, sound like anyone we know, in 2002 and she holds no style in Norway. Now she has faced criticism in Norway for her claims of being a clairvoyant and for exploiting her constitutional title as princess commercially. In 2019, the royal court announced that she will no longer use the title princess in her business activities as a clairvoyant. As for Jurek Barrett, he is a self-proclaimed shaman and author of the book Spirit Hacking. He was born in Sacramento, California and grew up in the nearby Foster City and has stated that his mother is of Norwegian Indian descent and that his father is of Haitian descent, having been born and bred in New Orleans. So he does have some Norwegian ancestry and he actually claims that his mother once told him he would marry into royalty, some kind of spiritual prophecy that she gave him. Verrett claimed to have some early supernatural experiences such as seeing his ancestors and has also claimed that he suffered early sexual abuse at the hands of a babysitter, leading him down a path of drink and drugs. He has categorised his early life as a battle between self-destructive tendencies and a spiritual journey in understanding the latent shamanic forces within him, including what he was supposed to do with them. Verrett also claims he eventually realised he had been given these powers to help people. He's had a small career as a model and also appeared on television shows, which helped propel his brand of New Age shamanism into celebrity circles and as a result he has been linked to many high profile individuals Leanne Rimes, Nina Dobrev and Gwyneth Paltrow to name a few. So as you can imagine all of this has raised a few eyebrows. There are a few black women who have married into royal families, most notably Angela of Liechtenstein, Emma Thine who is married to the Viscount Weymouth here in Britain and of course Meghan. But this is the first time I'm seeing a black man dating a prominent woman in a royal family who is so close to the throne. Throne. They are not yet married, but judging by interviews, they very much proclaim to be soulmates and based on their beliefs even say that they met in another life. So as far as the reaction in Norway, some have called him a charlatan. In a now deleted post, he spoke about being a mixture of reptile and Andromeda. 
okay whatever you feel like i suppose but as you can imagine many in the norwegian media were quick to jump on these weird statements and the palace attempted to distance themselves from them according to princess Marta herself some friends have distanced themselves from her and she has had to cut other people out of her life i think it's worth noting that norway is an incredibly homogenous country so most people are not directly exposed to those from other cultures and their only exposure would likely be mainstream culture which is not a very balanced perception of people of colour. Some people have also given him the cold shoulder due to his sexuality. His longest relationship prior to Princess Marta was with a man, although when asked about his orientation, Barrett says that he doesn't like to label himself as gay or bisexual, and he has always been just searching for a real soulmate, and their sex doesn't matter. Princess Marta took to her Instagram page posting, being Shaman Direct's girlfriend has given me a crash course in how white supremacy is at play and the way I have consciously and subconsciously thought of and acted towards black people, how I have taken my rights for granted, never looked properly at what racism is, because it has been comfortable for me that the system is in place. She also said in another Instagram post on their relationship, to those of you who feel the need to criticize, hold your horses. It's not up to you to choose for me or to judge me. I don't choose my man to satisfy any of you or the norms or boxes you have chosen in your mind for me to be in. I don't thrive there, nor do I exist in your illusion about me. I choose from love and that's it. You, she told them. So it would appear that we have another royal who wants to go her own way and do her own thing. She's also said in the past that she never really felt royal and she's obviously going the more celebrity route, which I don't blame her for. If you can get all the benefits of being a well-known person who can use your name without being bound to stupid royal protocols, I say go for it. And like other royals who have stepped down, she had to give up her HRH title but she's gained her freedom. To me, it looks like she hasn't really lost anything. Both of them are into the whole spiritual thing. They have a celebrity clientele and they're obviously happy being in front of the cameras and seem to be ready to do the celebrity hustle life. They actually did a television interview, which I will link to below. It's quite interesting the way they both speak. Spiritual gurus can earn millions if they play their cards right, so they won't be strapped for cash, I don't think. The self-help industry is a billion dollar industry. They can make their own money. She's not living off the taxpayer's purse strings. And I just see this as the trend going forward for most royals, especially the young ones. I'll also put a link in the description box to a feature that Vanity Fair did on them. They actually participated in the feature and were interviewed for it themselves. So it's a very interesting and at times eyebrow raising read. Comment below with your thoughts on that and any more information you might have on either of these two I tried to go in as much depth as possible without dragging out the video so sometimes I do miss things so let me know what your thoughts are don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one my lovelies ciao